duchesses and drift after Kate supported Meghan in run-up to Archie's birth, and now they exchange frequent texts about motherhood, royal expert claims. Kate and Meghan have become closer than ever and regularly exchange messages about parenting, new reports claim. The Duchesses of Cambridge and Sussex, both 37, are said to be enjoying a close friendship, which reportedly developed after Meghan married Harry last May. According to new reports, Kate was a great support to Meghan before she welcomed her firstborn with Harry, 34, and wanted to ensure she felt welcome in the family. The reports come as the two women put on an increasingly united front in the ongoing face of rift rumors, appearing together at Wimbledon this month, and attending the polo together with their children in recent weeks. Speaking to Hello magazine, a source said, Kate was a great source of support to Meghan in the days leading up to Archie's birth and, despite reports of the rift, they are family and have a really lovely friendship. Their relationship has certainly evolved over time and they have become closer since Meghan's wedding. They talk and text regularly, they have more in common, and Kate has wanted to make sure Meghan has felt welcome into the family. Meghan and Kate have put on a united front in recent months, in an effort to quell rumors of a rift. The two duchesses were pictured supporting William and Harry together at a charity polo match, with George, Charlotte, Louis and Archie seen playing together for the first time. In July Meghan and Kate, along with Pippa Middleton, visited Wimbledon to watch the tennis together, laughing and giggling as they sat in the royal box. Rumors of a royal rift between the Sussexes and the Cambridges began swirling after news emerged that Meghan and Harry would move away from Kensington Palace to make their home 25 miles away from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in Windsor, last year. There were claims that Kate became emotional following Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid's dress fitting, ahead of Meghan and Harry's wedding in last May, as well as suggestions the pair had clashed over staff. Then just weeks ago sources claimed Meghan, 37, was fed up of not being able to stand up for herself as the demands of royal protocol dictate she keeps a dignified silence amid rumors of tension between the sisters-in-law. An insider told Us Weekly the pregnant duchess is finding it frustrating and stressful having no voice, and finds the constraints of royal life debilitating. Once an outspoken feminist who gave speeches at United Nations forums, Meghan has since shut down her social media accounts as part of her transition from actress to duchess. However, royal insiders insisted at the time that there has been no falling out between the Cambridges and the Sussexes, but admitted the pair are very different people. Last year a source told the Daily Mail's Rebecca English, while there are some tensions behind the scenes, Kate is pretty unflappable and nothing has become bad enough to make Harry and Meghan want to move out. People are genuinely pleased to see them so happy. The truth is that there simply isn't enough room at Kensington Palace for them and I know they have been looking at Windsor as a possibility since before the wedding. 